Bonjour, French 2. Welcome to lesson 1B on pages 34 and 35 of your textbook. You'll see that this lesson is about la famille et les amis. Um, again, we see some special vocabulary here. We have um, un or un enfant unique for only child, plus jeune and plus âgé for younger and older, and marié, célibataire, and divorcé for married, single, or divorced. And then we have a bunch of vocabulary related to the family. Some of this is review and some of it is new. So we have la famille. Um, en parent there you see can mean either parent or relative. Um, le beau pair is new, that's stepfather or father-in-law. Um, le grand pair, remember, is grandfather and l'oncle is uncle. La mère is mother. Um, la grand mère is grandmother. Um, le frère is brother. Le cousin is a male cousin. La sœur is sister. Uh, la petite fille would be granddaughter. La cousine would be a female cousin. And la nièce is a niece. For les amis, um, again, you've had un copain, une copine, un copain, uh, une copine, um, un camarade, and un camarade, um, un voisin, and un voisin. Um, the differences over here, um, le meilleur ami, le meilleur copain, that would be the best friend. And same thing here then for a female best friend, la meilleure amie or la meilleure copine. And then we have um, generic words for um, people. So une personne would be a person and les gens would be people, plural. Notice that une personne is always feminine, even if it refers to a male person. And des gens is always masculine, plural, even if it refers to a group of females. So we're going to take a look or take a listen and see what our textbook has for this information. B. Vocabulaire. La famille et les amis. Écoutez les dialogues. Premier dialogue. Tu as des frères et des sœurs Non, je suis enfant unique. Deuxième dialogue. Tu as des frères et des sœurs Oui, j'ai un frère. Comment s'appelle-t-il Il, il s'appelle Philippe. Est-ce qu'il est plus jeune que toi Non, il est plus âgé. Quel âge a-t-il Il a 17 ans. Troisième dialogue. Tu as des frères et des sœurs Oui, j'ai une sœur. Comment s'appelle-t-elle Elle, elle s'appelle Véronique. Est-ce qu'elle est plus âgée que toi Non, elle est plus jeune. Quel âge a-t-elle Elle a 5 ans. C. Vocabulaire. La profession. Écoutez le dialogue. All right. So, s'il vous plaît, répétez. Un enfant unique. Un enfant unique. Plus jeune. Plus âgé. Again, with a, j here, this e, we add if the person or person you're describing is feminine. S'il vous plaît, répétez. Barrier. Célibataire. Divorcé. S'il vous plaît, répétez. La famille. Ad parent. Le père, le beau-père, le barrier, le grand-père, l'oncle, la mère, la belle-mère, 
la femme, la belle mère, sorry, la grande mère, la tante, un enfant, le frère, le demi-frère, le fils, le petit-fils, le cousin, le neveu, la sœur, la demi-sœur, la fille, la petite-fille, la cousine, la nièce, les amis, un ami, un copain, un camarade, un voisin, un ami, un copain, un camarade, un voisin, le meilleur ami, le meilleur copain. And again, that is best friend. La meilleure amie, la meilleure copine, les personnes, une personne, les jeunes. And then again, this supplementary vocabulary. Um, we have un fils unique, une fille unique. Le frère Anne, la sœur Anne, le frère cadet, la sœur cadette, vouf, vouf, le parrain, and la marraine. Um, again, in France, it's quite common for um, people to have godfathers and godmothers. So, um, again, some of this vocabulary was new, some of it was review. Your homework is on page 35, exercise 5. La famille Moreau, lire et écrire. Lisez le texte suivant, puis sur une feuille de papier, établissez l'arbre généalogique de la famille Moreau. And you see pictures in your textbook of these people. And then in kind of a little orange box are some sentences that describe these people. So the directions here, the title is La Moreau Family. It says, read the following text. Then, on a piece of paper, establish the family tree of the Moreau family. So... Those statements in French in the orange box are so that you can make a family tree. So like a family tree, my family tree um, would look like my dad. Okay, and we'd say my dad was married to my mom. And um, they had... Mrs. K, and they had my brother whose name is Jamie. Okay, so this is the type of thing you're going to do. And then I'm married to my husband Jim, and we have two children, Jarek. Okay, and so forth, okay? So this is the type of thing that you're going to draw based on what you see in that orange sentence there, okay? Once you have drawn that family tree, okay, then you're going to kind of move on to the next part of the homework or of this exercise, okay, which, okay, um, is part A. So part A says, 
sur la base de l'arbre géologique que vous avez établi, déterminez si les phrases suivantes sont vraies ou fausses. So, this is now saying, on the basis of the family tree that you've established, determine if the following sentences are true or false. So, for that part, you can just write the number and either the word vrai ou faux. Okay, so some of those are going to be true and some of those are going to be false. The way you're going to know whether they're true or false is that you are going to look at the family tree you've drawn and decide whether or not um, those uh, statements are true. For part B, it says, Expliquez la relation familiale qui existe entre les personnes suivantes. So these directions are saying, explain the family relation that exists between the following people. So the example there, we have Francoise and Monique, okay? And when you finish out your family tree, you should see that Francoise is the daughter of Monique, okay? So you're going to say that in French, and you're going to write that really in French. So Francoise est la fille de Monique. With these, it's always who is the first person to the second person. So for this part, you'll be writing complete sentences in French using that vocabulary um, that is in this part of the lesson about families. Au revoir, à demain.